in this video we will discuss what you have to do if you start falling in love with your colleague at work most young professionals spend more time at work than at home with approximately 35 percent of their time spent at work that adds up to nine hours of work 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 a day as a result the majority of people involved in this type of position feel out of place in society since they don't just do not have time to meet new people they don't have time for themselves in reality they don't have time for family they don't have time for nobody that is why it is not such a shocking finding that 67.8 percent of respondents in some survey all of whom work in different firms are in relationships with their co-workers this demonstrates that due to the time constraints that most professionals have and the lack of sociable time that they require the majority of them instead focus on finding a romantic partner at work my name is richard and i want to welcome you to our channel we want to say thank you very much if you have been watching our videos but if this is your first time watching our videos please comment like share and kindly subscribe to our channel also hit the notification button so that you won't miss important videos because they are together for more than 40 hours each week most people in this type of relationship claim that their job appears to be a natural breeding ground for loving couples they also claim that forming a relationship at work is unavoidable because most of them get along well with one another because they work in the same environment which fosters common interests, beliefs, and even backgrounds. Some firms, however, dislike the thought of its employees being associated with each other because of some professional ethics in the workplace. The bosses believe that sexual and intimate relationships may cause them to be negligent at work. This is true, of course, but not always true in every circumstances. Furthermore, there are some problems with this type of connection. The pair is more likely to have a conflict of, in conflict of interest when it comes to their different office obligations as well as their assignments and responsibilities with each other. As a result, for those who can't help but fall in love while performing monthly inventories or duties, here are a few workplace romance suggestions to keep you from going crazy. Number one, before you make a decision, think about it first. Like, think about it very, very well. It would be wiser to think about over this topic for a hundred times. No, make that a one thousand times before making a decision. Try to think about the probable repercussions and rewards of the relationship. Will you be prepared to bear the repercussions if the relationship does not work out? Number two, Analyze each potential prospect. Establishing a meaningful relationship with your co-workers should be dependent on whether or not it is ideal for a date. It would be preferable if you assess the consequences of dating the individual based on his or her position in the firm, his or her importance, and the potential consequences of a separation if one occurs. For example, if you want to ask your co-worker out on a date, consider the issues of rivalry between you and your co-workers, as well as the difficult circumstances that both of you may be in following a breakup. 
Also consider the possibility of bias when it comes to bosses dating their subordinates. It's possible that the question of favoritism will arise. Number three, be smart. Keeping in mind that God placed our minds above our hearts so that the mind might govern over everything. So if you are being snooped on by someone in authority at work, don't be fooled just yet. Try putting this person through some dependability test and see the outcomes. The idea is that if he is attempting to create a good romantic relationship with you, you should be certain that his intentions are genuine and not just a way to pass time at work. Number four, the best foundation is friendship. It's essential to focus on building connections first when it comes to growing romantic relationship at work. This is because some people believe that friendship as the bedrock of any relationship is preferable to a work-related relationship. Given all of this, workplace romance can be a lot of fun. However, one or both of them should be aware that workplace romances are not based on a contract that can be terminated if the time limit is exceeded. Even if both of them have already retired from their employment, it would be preferable to hear about this kind of relationship lasting a lifetime. Thank you for watching our video that teaches you what you should do if you start falling in love with your colleague at work. I hope you learned a lot. Do not forget to share this video so others can benefit from the knowledge. Thank you and see you in my next video.